Hey everybody, how's it going? Today was all about front lever training and I wanted to make a quick video to describe to you why I train front levers the way that I do. It's a little bit different and I think with front levers there's a couple variables we have to pay attention to that a lot of people make mistakes. So hopefully I'm going to post the workout either here or here next to this video. Um, so for those of you just viewing this on YouTube, you can see what I'm talking about. But the first thing that I started with today was tucked front levers hold. And the reason why I started with a tucked front lever hold is because for anybody, whether you're able to do a front lever or not, a tucked front lever is usually pretty achievable. I like to do the skill that's achievable first to set the mental track of being able to achieve that end goal skill. Now, if a tucked front lever is really easy for you, move on to a straddle front lever or a full front lever. But if you're going to attempt the real skill or the goal skill, I like to do that first so you can send a positive mental track. The second thing I went into was a half pull up to front lever, back to half pull up. So that's starting in a hang, half pull up, front lever, back to half pull up. I think that's a great exercise because it works the transition point into a front lever, but it's not working the transition point, pulling all the way from the bottom up to the front lever. And as most of you already know and I'm described today, I always preach the eccentric portion, top down training for all front lever stuff. So this is a great exercise, works the pulling and hits out to the front lever as well. The third exercise I did today from inverted hang, lowering to straddle front lever, back up to inverted hang. Again, the reason why I think it's so important to train front lever from top down is because working the eccentric portion allows us to fix our upper body in the inverted hang, drop down into front lever and pull back up. We're not compromising in the most important part of the front lever, which is the upper body or chest. So all the front lever work we should do, or the majority of the front lever work we should do, um, the majority at least, should be top-down training fixing the upper body, not compromising that upper chest and shoulder position and strengthening from there. So the fourth exercise, from inverted hang, powering down all the way to hang. Again, working that eccentric portion from inverted hang, straight body, straight arms, all the way down to hang, then get back up into inverted hang any way that you can. Okay, a couple really important things to remember when you're training for a front lever, test the front lever first so you can test it fresh to set a positive mental track, and then focus on eccentric movements or top-down training for front lever skills. Thanks for watching.